All right, what's going on, guys? So, NCTY today, going crazy, shoving up, selling off. I think I traded it perfectly. I, I wouldn't have done anything differently. Um, and I was rewarded very well for my discipline, my uh, patience, and just, I don't know, it was a great trade. So, let me show you where I got this level from. So, pre-market, we were, we were right around here, right? So... I was looking for a good support level. So what do I usually do? I look towards the daily. I went to the daily and I went all the way back here to the last time it went friggin' nuts. And uh, there's a level here, 319. So it's the high of this candle. You can see down here, it's the high of that candle, 319. So I marked that out, I bolded it, and I said, that that's my level, that's it. Maybe there's a level down here. I think at like three bucks, but like this is my level right here, and that's how I'm gonna play this. So, I actually had 2,000 shares. Uh, I bought it close to the bottom. I think I had a 323 average. Um, let's go look at the video here. So, this is me just kind of making my plan. You see, I'm not chasing it here. It's about to break out of this this range. Uh, I'm not doing anything crazy. I, I just mark out the highs. Uh, so this is this is the range I'm looking at. This is my support, and this is kind of where I want to start selling is above 349. But I want to hold on to a piece for the random off chance that this makes it all the way back anywhere close to nine bucks. So what exactly do I do? We will see once the market opens at 9:30. Uh, let's fast forward it just a little bit. Okay, so the market is open. I'm thinking maybe I could buy the breakout over 349, but I don't really want to, and I'm not going to rush it. I'm not going to push it, so I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for my 319. That's all I'm doing. Very simple, but actually quite difficult to just wait. So 319, boom. I'm in 1,000 shares because I saw 319. I got, I got filled for 1,000 uh, shares at 320. I'm already in, and I'm already up, like, six, five cents, 57 bucks, and I want to see how it reacts here, because we might fall towards three dollars, you know, it, it's just kind of stalling right here, I like the way that it's reacting right here, see now we surge back up to 330, so I think, okay, if it, if it dips, it has a little micro dip again, I'm gonna get another thousand shares, so oh, I should have gotten it there at 318. This would have been just perfect to get it here, but you know I, I I did pretty well on this. I was just seeing if it held. Once I was convinced it was holding, I added another thousand shares. I got filled on the bid, and I said, "All right, this rocket ship it's gonna take off right now, or it's not taking off." Um, I saw this guy, twenty thousand shares at 318. So I said, if he breaks, then this trade is probably invalid. So I put my stop, I quickly type in my stop here. As it's consolidating, I put stop, 2,000 shares position, boom. I scroll down to 317, right under him, and I go to sell. And I just, I click sell immediately. My stop is already in at 317. We start surging. I'm not selling here. This is not the plan. Um, realistically, if it had to come back down, I would have, I would have probably sold. Okay, so there it surges through high of day, surges through 350. I start to sell on the ask. I sold a thousand shares at 363. I sold another 500 at 322 or 370. And there, I have my last 500. I say, if this goes to the moon then that's how many shares I'm gonna have. So, you can see, I could've, you, <laughs> you can see. Uh, I could've locked in like a thousand somewhere, something, something in the lines of that at this point. Now you can see, yeah, this guy, there's 41,000 shares available at 380, but I'm, I'm not chasing this. I'm not doing anything dumb. Look at my average, look at this average. So I'm thinking in my head, there's going to be one chance to get the dip by. 
and the dip buy will have to be at the breakout spot of 349 or 350. So look at all these shares, man. 60,000 shares. Now, I don't know. I don't remember if these were all filled. Let's watch. 380. For some reason, my time in sales is a couple seconds off. So it looks like they were filled. Now, I don't know if that was a short covering or a long being filled. And now if it was a long being filled, then he's kind of hurting right now. But that's... Okay, so as we get into the 50s here... Let me see where I add. 57? No, let's just... Let's just speed this up. There. So there was one final dip. 51. I went back to 1,000 shares at this breakout spot. And I thought... Okay, and then I'm updating my stop, and I'm moving my stop up into profit now. This is my profit line, and now my, my stop is in profit, even though... Okay, so we can see again here. I added at, what was that, 351, and we're already up another 15 cents. Almost 20 cents at this point. So I thought if we got back to high of day, that would have been an extra four, five, six hundred dollars on this trade. Um, and I was willing to take that risk. See, and I'm not, I'm not locking this in yet either. I'm not locking it in yet because I wanted to see a 390 or $4 break. And I would have taken the whole thing and you would have seen this is my pro total profit. Uh, unrealized and realized at the time. So I said, if my stop gets blown out, then the trade's over. And that's that. Um, there are a lot of days where this would have worked out. I think that guy that was filled up here, all of those like 80,000 shares, 100,000 shares that were filled up here, that guy was starting to panic because his position's pretty much shitting the bed, so I, I guess he's selling in chunks, uh, and I got stopped out for that much profit, and I just, I didn't like the way this is just slamming, 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 like, so I just, I never, I did not rebuy a single share, um, now, it showed some support at $3 there. We can see what it did. This was that support at $3. It came back up for the best short opportunity I've seen in my life. <laughs> uh, right back to that 319 level. And then straight down. And where this will stop, who knows. Maybe it'll be the pre-market lows right here. Maybe it'll be yesterday's highs, which is the same level. 247. I don't know. Uh, or maybe it'll go all the way back down down in here. But this this would have been the best short trade. Uh, 319 to 247 for sure. But I, I can't short. See, I can't short shares. I'm trying to short right now. Slamming the trying to slam the bid. It's not it's not working. So I can't short. It's not shortable for me. Let's see. This contract. Yeah, that, that green light has to be lit up. Anyways. With that said, hopefully that was useful. It teaches you guys all you have to do is wait. Now, even if you just had 100 shares, if you have a smaller account, you know, $320 of a position, um, if it surges up with 100 shares and you sell it where I sold it, you still made $50, which on 100 shares is really, really good. It's, it's about enforcing the discipline of a good trade not simply just to make a lot of profits. So I did step up with a size today. I had 2,000 shares. Um, if it wasn't for 2,000 shares, I would have only had a $330 trade, which still would have been great. Uh, and my risk was capped. You saw my risk was capped. Right here, the stop was at 317. That was about $100. Now with slippage, that probably would have been like 140 because it moves so fast that... Once it hit 317, I probably would have gotten filled closer to 312, 313. Guarantee that was what would have happened. So, anyways, with that, we'll see you guys later. Please hit that subscribe button. You know, it's been a while, but I'm still trying to get a thousand subs. Uh, it hasn't moved in a while, and I would love to see that go up. You know, that's all I ask for. I'm not asking for you to buy my program or any stupid shit like that. So, anyways, see you tomorrow.